Alright, so this is called Catacomb by Sentinel Alpha. Again, I do want to point out that uh, the webcam I don't have because OBS is dumb. It doesn't provide a webcam unless you have like a separate webcam, which I don't understand. But this is going to be a full, uh, full on practice run. Um, it's pretty easy demon, even though it's memory. So you do want to hit this orb here. You do want to jump into this blue orb here, like right about here, not where I jump, but right about here. And so you hit the blue orb, but then hold it. You're going to jump all the way over this gap, and then you're going to wait. If you jump too early, you're going to hit this corner right here, and and that's just that. You're going to hit the corner right there if you jump too early. So go back up a little bit. And then here you want you don't want to jump. If you do, you're gonna barely hit this corner. And then you want to hit this orb automatically, and then jump, jump, hold it, and then hit this yellow orb right here. Jump up. You don't want to jump up because you see this blue bounce pad's gonna hit you on these five spikes right up here. So you want to go down. You want to wait a little bit on this orb because there are times when you're gonna hit this one right here. Yeah, this one you're gonna have to wait a little bit, but not too long. Sorry. It's not this. It's not this orb, but it's the next blue orb. So after this, you're gonna go into this, this gravity portal. There's gonna be an orb here. Just as prior knowledge that you need to know that. And then, again, do not hold it, or else you're gonna jump onto this corner right here. You wanna wait to like right here, and then jump in this blue, blue bounce pad. As soon as you hit the bounce pad, you do wanna hold it because you're, you're gonna land right here. You have to jump. You do want to hold it there. That's actually a good holding spot. If you hold from right there onto here, hold it to here. You want to hit this yellow orb early, but hit this one late. This is the blue orb you need to hit late because if you hit it early, you're going to hit this saw right here, and it's kind of annoying. And then you don't want to jump as soon as you hit the blue orb. So jump, orbs. Get ready for these three orbs up here. It's just one, two, three in concession, and then wait. If you jump up here, you're going to hit this like little corridor, and you're going to hit the saw or the saw up here or you, you can't fall. If you do want to fall down here, there is a spot where you can jump up here. That's where you need to go. So jump up there. And then hit the yellow orb. Wait. And then hit these five orbs. If you jump a little earlier, you're going to hit the saw. It's not too bad. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now this ship part's a little tricky. As soon as you hit this one, you want to dip down a little bit, but then pull back up. So See, that's what happens if you don't dip down automatically. Down a little bit, not too much though. You're just gonna hit that. This is the flying section. There's plenty of room. There, there's plenty of room. It's kind of like a club step section, like at the end of the club step. Like at that section is like the end of normal club step. Now, when you get to this bowl part, you can jump down automatically. It will. It's pretty lenient when you jump down automatically. Then you want to jump up, hit the three orbs in concession. It's actually no tricks here. So jump up. There is plenty of room for this ballpark. This ballpark a little tricky, not too bad. Jump up, then down, then up, and down again. Because then you want to jump up and hit this platform. I would suggest not jumping down because the ball will automatically go to the rocket. Now you do want to trust your instinct, trust the portal itself. Oh, I don't want to say trust the portal. As soon as you enter the portal, Wait like a second, then pull straight up. The ceiling's right there, and you're and you're not gonna hit anything. So I'm gonna also check this off there. Now you don't want to slide like hold and slide into this because if you do, you're gonna hit the spike right about here. You want to hit the tip of this and then go into this easy, easy, easy UFO UFO part. Now, as soon as you get into the Q part, you're going to jump and hit this orb here. There's not many tricks to this, this section here. Then you want to jump into this, hit these two orbs in concession. This bounce pad is actually a good thing. You want to bounce into it, jump, hit this one. Don't forget about this blue orb that's down here. I forgot about it. That's where I crashed last time at 48%. Then you want to hold it so you can hit this blue orb and then tap. Tap it. Just tap it. Don't hold it or it's going to bounce off the edge past this bounce pad. You can't speak. And then hit this saw. As soon as you hit the bounce pad, you're going to hit the, this purple orb here. See, that's what happens if you don't tap it. As soon as you hit this blue orb, you do want to jump. 
because if you slide off, you're gonna hit the saw, the spike right here. If you if you actually don't hit the bounce pad, the orb, you hit this bounce pad, but it's gonna be a trap if you see these three saws right here. So this, hit all those early, then jump jump again to get this to this yellow orb here. That that right there, those four orbs is probably the worst part about it. Is you have to hit them really fast. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now this ball part, you're gonna slide off of here and you're gonna land like right here. You wanna jump up then here, down to here, and then hit this orb right here. And as soon as you hit the yellow orb, you wanna hit the blue orb and then jump automatically into this portal. Not too late. So if you jump too late, you're gonna hit that. Now I do wanna say that as soon as you hit enter the ship, it's auto part. It's an auto part, and that's probably the best part about it. This part's pretty easy. You just uh, some of these platforms are late times, like that one right there. This one right here where you jump off, it's kind of late, just so you can get this part here. And then from here on out is the easiest flying section I have seen. This one's a bit of memory. Here you want to hit these two. These two orbs, miss this one or else you get a hit here. Jump to here. These blue circles kind of mark where the platforms are. You can you're, you can be able to see it. It's, it's pretty easy to see. These platforms are really easy to see. And then here you hit two orbs and then you're onto the next platform. So go back up to the ballpark. Like I said, the platforms are pretty easy to see. Another easy, easy flying section. Badass. And that's the end of level. Set to go. It's an easy demon, yes, but some people might call it a medium demon because of the memory. But I sincerely think this is a. Oh, I forgot about that orb. Damn it, I jumped over the bounce pad. Oh, I... I choked and I forgot to hit that blue orb early. Man. Why? Like, what? Oh my god, I got a lot to learn about sight <laughs> Why did I think that was a bounce pad? Like, really? Oh my god.
So Catacomb by Zenthic Alpha, definitely an easy demon, but I understand being a demon because of memory and a little bit of the hard timings, but it's definitely easy. Other than that, it's a fun demon. That is my 70th demon. And next demon, I have no idea what's going to be. Probably Motion by Taman. I've got 40% on that, and I haven't played it yet. Or some other thing by Zenthic Alpha, since that one was pretty easy. I really, I'm really wanting to try out some of, some of, some of his other ones. I really am.